Can you believe this? This time next week, we will be live at the great Minnesota get together. And there is a lot that is new out of the fairgrounds this year. But as Adam Duxter shares, there's also a lot to get done before the gates open next week. If the saying goes so close, you can almost taste it. Excited, really excited. Mike Veziez in his family. I've been coming since May to clean, repaint the floors. Are making sure when you do, that taste doesn't disappoint. As they ready for 12 days of crepes and crazy. My parents have been doing this for 32 years uh, and I want to keep that legacy going. It gets hectic, but my saying is you want to just remain calm. At the end of the day, most important person is the customer that's in front of us. And the customers will come in mass. The fair looking to top last year's total attendance of 1.8 million. Prepping for that. This entire week, super energetic. You can see the cars driving behind me. Takes a lot. We've got vendors setting up. We've got people dropping off their entries for creative activities. We've got a whole slew of things going on here. Of course, there's favorites, the French creperie and others. But this year, new vendors, new foods, and a new app. With all that excitement. The one thing you definitely should plan in advance is your transportation plan. A reminder, getting here doesn't have to be hard if you plan ahead. So close, you can taste it. And next week, you will. Just seeing the happy smile on people's faces once they take that first bite of the crepe or the first sip of the frozen sangria. That's what we're, we're ready for. We're ready for you guys. Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Just like Adam mentioned, there are dozens of spots to park and ride to the fair for free. And you see some of them here on the map. We have everything you need to know up on our website right now. And we will see you there.